Here at Singita Pamishana Lodge in Zimbabwe and the surrounding Malalangwe Reserve, conservation of the environment and wildlife is top priority. And every year in February, the Malalangwe Trust hosts a course for vets from all around the world, teaching the vital skills of capture and release that are needed to ensure healthy wildlife populations. The 2015 course attracted students from 17 different countries who need these skills to manage their own wildlife. Today a giraffe has been darted from the air. The students need to know the correct drugs to use and the restraining techniques on the ground that will keep both animals and humans safe. But sedating the giraffe is only part of the equation. Once any necessary procedure has been carried out, the giraffe needs to be helped back onto its feet before it can once again return to the bush. And the course is renowned for the invaluable hands-on practical experience it provides. Next day, the students are up at dawn and back into the bush once more. This time, the patient is a black rhino, one of the world's most endangered species. The rhino must be blindfolded and kept cool, while its life functions are checked continually during the vital few minutes that it remains sedated. Finally, it is identified and photographed from the notches on its ears. Herd animals like antelopes and zebra are often corralled into a boma where the darting is easier to carry out. But once again, the key objective is to keep the animals free of stress and to release them back into the wild as soon as possible. Byron, tell me, why is this course been particularly useful for you? Well, when working on an endangered species like snow leopards, it's imperative to have adequate training in these types of skills. I'm a local Zimbabwean, and uh, this course has helped me to appreciate the great beauty of my country and uh, to see the Big Five all in one place and to see the great potential that it has for the tourism sector. <laughs>